Hey everybody! Welcome back to Feral Plays Exit the Gungeon. Yo, Marine? Yep, change characters. Okay, we're coming off. Look, I don't want to spoil anything. Also, I think we could like absolutely afford to buy this last thing. The RPG, which I'm not really too happy about having because, you know, I'm not... Oh no, it's empty? There's got to be more for me to unlock. That can't be it. Hold on, I will get into tangents, I promise you. Ah, dude. All right. So this is kind of, uh, this is our life right now. I won't spoil it for you. Just in case this is, for some ungodly reason, this is your first, like, enter or exit the gungeon, uh, content that you've ever consumed in, like, I don't know, human history. We got to the dragon on the last run. Which is an, uh, it's an amazing leap in ability for somebody like me. Because it was not only, like, the last episode before that, where we were struggling the entire time just to get past, like, the third floor. So, uh, basically... I'm really happy and proud of my abilities, and I would love for them to uh, to carry over into this run that we're going to try our damnedest in order to replicate the results. Maybe even... Please shoot. I love the aged bell, but of course they're giving me the aged bell like while I have a weapon that takes like a trillion years to fire. So I'm not really too much of a fan of it. Thank you. That's much better. Um, yeah. So that's our goal. I really just want to get back to the dragon and then also not get so mind flooded maybe to the point where we could learn some of his patterns but other than that dude i think we we're really starting to come into our own when it comes to exit gungeon gameplay i'm learning when to dodge when not to dodge when to dodge roll when not to dodge roll and more importantly i'm learning a little bit about myself you know point in case if you didn't tell me like a couple days ago hey how do you feel about a non-stop 2D bullet hell, in which case everything's randomized, and uh, oh, and by the way, the, the attack patterns are an absolute nightmare. Like, somebody like me would be like, there's no way in hell I would ever be able to, like, accomplish that kind of goal. Now I'm like, you know what? Maybe we can accomplish that kind of goal. HP? Okay, HP. It's literally what I wanted. Now look, okay, okay. I know we can't, like, depend exclusively on HP from our drops, because, like, ideally we don't want HP from our drops, we just want the free HP from flawlessing a boss. But let's be real with each other. Like, for, for once in our lives, let's just be, like, grown-ass adults right now and talk about this mono a mono. I will never be good enough for anything, full stop, and then, like, to continue that, I don't think I'm ever gonna be... Well, let's, let's, not, let's not beat ourselves up too much. I don't think we're going to get good enough fast enough in order to... to Flawless bosses at a reasonable rate. I think we are getting there. I mean, I also, if you were to tell me, like, you know, before the last run, hey, how do you think that you're, you think you're ever going to get to the dragon? I'd be like, nah, dude. This game's way too hard. Now we just got to get to, it's, it's, it's a flow chart, you know? We're at the point now where, like, I'm kind of understanding the game and what needs to be done in order to be a Gucci gang player. And then all we had to do is get good enough where I could play this game without having to talk about what's happening. And then, like, honestly, it's it's a whole new YouTube series, dude. That's where we come into, like, what I love to be in in a video game, the, the Fairville Creativity Zone. Basically, it's where my brain goes completely on autopilot. I knew it was coming, dude. Your brain goes completely on autopilot, and, and you stop worrying about the game, but you just peer into the Matrix. Canadian Bolt. Canadian Bolt's the cat. Okay, 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 okay. Cat, not bad. Meowser. Whatever his name is. That's that's not Meowser, dude. Meowser's from Mario. Whoa! Oh! He's done it. You know what? That gets blanked, but not for the reason you think. The reason as to why I got blanked was because I was dumb. Okay? That's the one attack that always hits you. And by the one attack, you know that you mean one of the many attacks that always hits you. If we're going to do this, I'm going to need the shield to like turn into like something else. Okay, honestly, potentially a really good use of a, of a blank there. Now, I'm not too happy... It's the banana gun, dude! Let's go! Okay. Going very well. Don't get mind flooded. I, I got mind flooded. You know what happened? I forgot the button for dodge roll and jump were different, and then I thought I pressed one, but I didn't press either, and now we've uh, we've lost our flawless. But you know what? To be fair... Let's kill it. Kill it. Thank you. To be fair... Let me let me defend myself. That was still a really good that was still a really good uh, a good fight. So look at that HP armor. We picked up a, a boot. I don't know if this is heavy boot or not. And also, yo, we have another potential for the rat key. I'm gonna do something stupid. I want to see what you got. Okay, can't afford either one. Awesome. Yeah, maybe we should be playing as a hunter. 
this way we don't have to worry about picking up all of this this stupid money so maybe i can buy some items every once in a while but i don't know man i'm kind of i'm kind of feeling the gameplay loop you know you're getting into it all right all right choose your own adventure this is honestly why i wanted to play as this character i really want to get better at these like rooms like this because like honestly this like already looks like a nightmare but other than that how have i been dude i've uh we've now we're now entering like the second week that was a fast room see give me more of that dude we're now entering like the second week of of you know the the quarantine the self-isolation the social distancing however you want to call it i remember this room this room sucks so i am just going to focus a little bit great dodging that was immediately squandered because like every enemy has a trillion hp dude die man no not like this not like this okay you gotta go you gotta go brother whatever is down there it just has to be like completely acquiesced okay okay now we're better okay don't get tilted you're allowed to get tilted in like one room per run it cannot be this room because this room requires like actual attention to be had here okay 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 combo is still four hp is fine it can absolutely be recovered if the pattern continues you continue oh god it's happening the pattern continues you can i can't say continues we should be getting a drop on this room okay it's a small boy he loves his father loves jesus and america too oh my god i thought you were dead dude yeah i want to like actually meet the google deep mind who's able to like dodge through this stuff like, one thing is sure, it's like fine, but like everything is just insanity. I didn't, you know, I was, I was a little bit worried about like my mental uh, stability when it came to this quarantine. Like, I didn't know how well I would do. Yo, Liquid Valkyrie is very nice. What does it do? No idea, but I kind of remember what it does in Gungeon, so we're just going to assume it does the same thing here. I was worried about my like mental stability, you know? Because, like, I don't know, man. You know, I like to think that I have the ability to like not deal with people for a long time but at the end of the day you know i do crave uh i mean like attention would be like the good word for it because obviously i'm a youtuber and if there's like a, sing a single youtuber that exists that will not admit that they're doing it for the attention i want you to know that they're absolutely liars absolutely 100 it doesn't matter what kind of youtube content they create if they were to tell you oh i just like making videos now nah, they're lying dude 100 uh, but with, th with that being said i really do do this because i enjoy making videos Plus, it's keeping me, like, absolutely sane. But, dude, I haven't been to a Tim Hortons in, like, you know, in a long time. <laughs> well, and also, keep in mind, long time for a Canadian not going to a Timmy's is, like, maybe a week. And I haven't been there in, like, well, you see the whole, like, corona thing started up a little bit early. And, you know, we heard about everything from China and all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. But, sincerely, like, I haven't been to a Tim Hortons in, like, Maybe two and a half to three weeks, and it's starting to get me, to me. Canadian, oh no! Stop making me fight this boss! I know he's a king, dude. Look at, he's a, he's a six foot eleven king! It bounces back, it bounces back. You need to, okay, okay. Learn these patterns. Nope, it just gets blank, dude. Like, honestly, that gets blank. That's how you deal with that attack. It's one of the rare, oh, I hate everything. Do you, okay, good. How do, you, how do you deal with this man? Like, what, what do you? what is it? Like, you just, like, pray to God that everything gets better for you after a while? Okay? That's the only attack that I'm allowed to, like, mentally deal with. Everything else is, like, way out there. Okay? Just... You know what the worst part is? It's not the fact that the bullets bounce back. It's that I know that they bounce back, but I still get hit by them. That's, that's what's bothering me more than anything else. Like, I know that I'm dodging, but it's still happening. Oh, thank God. We got the charge shot. What a, what a great gun to have. I got hit by the freaking explosion, dude. No, I'm going for that. I'm going for that. I'm going for that, dude. Get away from me. Where's that HP? Thank you. All right. We're not dead yet, baby. This attack I hate. Okay. It lasts... Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. That lasts, like, way too long. Let's get ready. Get ready for the bounce back. It's a very quick dodge. This man is, like, not even halfway dead. He's not even halfway dead. He still has, like, so much of his basic HP. Oh, my God, I did it. <laughs> oh, my God, we're doing it, baby. Okay, get away. Just jump and dodge, dude. Jump, jump and dodge. You got to, like, give me, like, a second to actually deal damage to him, though. Like, crack a key. 
I knew it was gonna die, but I was panicking the whole time. How do you deal with this? Explain to me the cerebral processes that I need to like actually facilitate in order to defeat this man. Give me a quick restart. I'm so upset. We had such a good run on the last episode. We made it all the way to freaking dragon. Now we're dying on the second boss. Because the second boss is like this just salt inducing Chilean sea bass of a monster that I swear to god is like intended as like some weird Freudian like uh, experiment to see just how much punishment the average human brain will take before it gives up on its, its on its entire existence that's there's no other way and also i got hit on the first floor dude so this is what we call a tilted run how do you okay you're tilted you're tilted that's fine how do you uh how do you deal with the tilt i think you need first things first you got to recognize that you are in fact tilting okay we've recognized the tilt what do you do after that? You have to not lead in to the tilt. Because just playing into it is going to make everything a lot worse. And then you just correct your your you, you correct your sextant and you continue on at, a, at an approachable distance. That's all we have to do. What in God's name did I walk into? Yo, Meathead. You want to talk about this George Costanza-ass drawing that you have up here? I think some people would call it a painting, but I wouldn't. Hey, Meathead. I'm out of that cell and ready to fulfill my critical role. Nice reference. I'm all about the combos. If you find me, I'll check your combo level and give you something fitting. Yo, we got a combo level of four, baby. Right now, your combo is seven. Why did I say four? Oh, no, it's happening. Give me something good. It's a solid combo. Solid effort. Mid-tier prize coming up. What do you mean? Dude, it's like the first floor. What do you want from me? But also, yo, thank you. <laughs> As long as we're getting a, a steady supply of HP, we can maybe tank, like, here's, this is how we win the first game. Because winning the first game in, like, a roguelike, it's, it's, like, it's 20% skill, and then, like, 80% luck. But what you do is that, or at least what, the, the plan, anyway, what did I get hit by? Was there a bullet down there that I dropped into that was, like, that caused damage to me the second I touched the floor? Because, like, that just seems so unlikely, and I'm very upset. You, you, when you win your first roguelike, it's basically luck. But the, the plan, or the idea, is that you use that luck to gain more skill. And then you get to the point where you can just win with skill. Now, I'm not saying that that's where we're going, you know, honestly. But with that being said, all we have to do is get lucky enough to survive long enough, to learn enough, to get the skill required to just basically win every game and then become, like, the next MLG pro of Exit the Gungeon, which I'm sure is going to be a, a trending esports very soon, given the whole fact that, like, you know, the world's falling apart. It's, it's only fitting, dude. And you might be saying, Pharaoh, that's a bleak thing to say. Yeah, but I mean, like, am I wrong? Prove to me that I'm wrong. If you give me... This isn't the club. This is a good gun. All right. Boss me. Don't be the cat. Oh, what am I doing with my life? Okay, okay. Basically, you got really close to going to Flawless on, like, the last run. So the way I'm looking at it is that you have no excuse not to Flawless in this run. Just get ready. Yep, that's the attack that you want to do a basic dodge roll. Okay. Okay, maybe you should have jumped on that one. Okay, banana damage is really good. That was a good blank. Don't be afraid of using your blanks, dude! Get away from me, he's standing in the middle of the freaking corridor! Oh my god. You know, I, I, I have to apologize. It's one of the things that I concern myself about whenever I play a game on YouTube. Where I'm just like, what if I'm bad? And then I'm just like... Well, if I'm bad, then, like, honestly, I hope people find me entertaining. Because that's, like, the only thing we're going to do. You only unlock the barrel for beating the cat five times. But beating is an operative word. Okay, I'm still looking at... I'm still going to look at this like we're, like, a net positive on HP. Dude, I need my Tim Hortons, man. It's starting to affect the old brain. Oh, the rat's gone. Okay, so we don't have a chance to unlock a boy. Do we want to get the green guanstone or the lodestone amulet? Honestly, I kind of, like... I know I've said horrible things about the green guanstone, uh, exclusively because I don't respect it as an item. Um, however, if it heals me even once, it's it's my best friend. And maybe, I don't know, man, maybe picking up a guanstone increases the chance of the other guanstone showing up. Yo, did they make RPG Rocket good? Because this rate of fire is incredible. And I don't know if it's like because this item's good or because they changed how charged weapons work, but like, honestly, Happy to have that one in the repertoire. Okay. Very good. Our main goal, 
because there is no shop on this floor. You're, you're clearing these rooms and you're going to the boss fight. You need to assume... I get scared every time I walk through this friggin' door, dude. You need to assume that anything that you have now, like wh what you have now, that's your base selection. Just get out of there. Just get out of there. Great. You know what? That's a that's a blank. That's a blank for no other reason than screw this room. That's that's how I'm looking at this. Yo, I do not know how to get out of here. Okay. Great dodging. Please, my sweet god, you gotta like kill everything here. Thank you. Okay. Wait. Clear out. You're doing great, sweetie. Jump. Dodge through. Oh, he's done it. He's actually done it. We've ascended. Okay, that. That's good practice, baby. That's how you know you're on the up and up. Okay, now we're now we're supplying some high octane, nonstop, high energy, high T count, high entertainment grade value. For the love of God. Good, good. If you're gonna shoot, you shoot up there like a coward. Okay, priorities, get rid of the slime because I hate them. Okay, get ready. That ghost will shoot you. Because this is what they do. Mass shotgun. Good to have. Okay. Get rid of the boomer. Get rid of the boomer. Okay. Boomer? Sweet. What are you, HP? Amulet of the Pit Lord. Okay, I said in the last episode we should use this to our advantage. If we're in a situation where, like, it looks like we're about to just take a stupid amount of damage, just jump off the platform. Yes, I know literally that doesn't apply in our current situation because, you know, we're playing as this character, and now apparently the whole, like, you know, elevator portion of the game is null and void, baby! Mass shotgun, I need you to be, like, a little bit more mess and a little bit less shotgun, if you know what I'm talking about. What I mean is, like, sweet god, can you, like, kill things? Thank you. Okay. Slime has to go. Laser Lotus, happy to have it. Dude, honestly, I feel like all the guns that you unlock so far are, are like, welcomed additions to the team. Yo, we're killing this. I hate saying that, because we still have, like, one more room to do. And on top of that, we only have one more blank. But we are, we are, we are advancing. And, and, and on top of that, if I can make, like, one positive statement... As I am like legally required to, ever since YouTube changed their policies, um, we have a we have a really good combo going, and I do not think that it's ever been this high. Now I would very much like to keep the combo for the boss. Good, good dodge. Just take him out. Yep. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Okay. You you got a little bit greedy there, but it worked out in the end. My brain is a buzz with the matrix and the and the and the patterns necessary. Eleven combo. We will absolutely... Uh, we have to fight this thing here. Well, I mean, there goes my plan of, like, just jumping off if I need to. Okay, we have a good combo. Nope, that gets blanked because you're not in the... You're not in a good position for it. I hate to say it, but basically we had to blank there for no other reason than I... Than she did an attack that was not good for us in that exact moment. And because of that, we've now lost our only defense. Maybe, like, you don't want to do that, but, like, it worked out pretty well. So, like, I'm gonna just keep going. Alright, dude, honestly... Good layout for this boss. Just be very wary. Don't look at the boss. Use your peripherals. Look at your dude. And you're and you're in a good fight. How long is that ball gonna bounce around the room? I get it. You know, it's a hazard. Yeah, good good job. Um, but like also it's a little bit much. I don't know if the knives are here or not. Exclusively because um, I don't know if you've noticed this, but I've stopped like actually looking at the room. I'm just looking at my dude. I'm looking at my dude. Second ball means oh, it's a flawless on the second floor, baby. Let's go. Gun drama to strain. Um, that seems really good. All enemies are weaker. Okay, what do we have now? Well, boys, we have a chance. You got something good? Bullet idol. Yeah. Okay. It's not like we need keys or anything in this game, or bombs or anything stupid like that. It's, dude, it's very simple. You don't even need to worry about getting guns. You just need to worry about good items. Gun drama to strain is amazing. Oh, sweet God, what is this? Alright, this, this is fine. This is, once again, just ignore the illusion of movement. There is no movement here. This is just a solid platform. That's not going to trigger any, any kind of weird motion sickness. You're good to go, baby. Just focus on enemies one at a time. You're at a combo of 14, which means that, like, not only are you proud of you, but your father is very proud of you. Me and your father? That's right. Please. Thank you. Yo, I don't know what happens when we get up to, like... I, I don't know what the max combo is, either. Uh, well, you know what? I don't think it matters what the max combo is, is what I meant to say. Because, honestly, like, a combo is just a construct there that's it's basically meant to distract you. 
And you... I hate those bubbles so much. Yo, Gundramata Strain. I know you said that like you were going to make enemies weaker, but like, can you make enemies weaker now? It's the barrel, dude! It showed up! Even though we just unlocked it, what a hero! Favorite item in the game. It shoots the fish, dude. All right, okay, okay, okay. New thing, like, just honestly, ignore everything. That doesn't matter. Ignore everything that doesn't matter. Combo? Who cares? Don't need, like, you don't need to know what your combo is in order for you to, like, have the combo. No, being aware of the combo will only serve to destroy the combo. You use the combo to destroy the combo. Speaking of guns that I would like to see, like, right now, Abyssal Tentacle hasn't shown up yet. And, like, honestly, I'm kind of down for it. So, like, if you want that to show up, uh, that would be a huge poggers moment in the chat. Thank you. No. Yo, another golden chest. What do you have for me? Okay. Chaos Amulet. We still, dude, we still got both of our, of our blanks ready to go. HP is appropriate for where we are. And I think we picked up a decent amount of, uh, a decent amount of items that give us an actual benefit. As opposed to like this, you know, this nonsense benefit that the game like, Why am I being poisoned? Dude! There's no way that that poison was still existing at the time of my, of my contact with the physical surface, dude. How long does it survive on surfaces, man? What if I use hand sanitizer? Does it not wipe it clean? Oh, you gotta go. Those skull bullets? Good dodging, dude. Are probably, like, deceptively the worst enemies in the game. Dude, honestly, we've been playing, like, great. Uh, yeah, dude. We've been playing really good when it comes to, like, getting out of the way of bullets. Which I know is... You know, if I wasn't a turbo nerd, I would just refer to that as dodging. But please, kill the Ghost Rider. Where do those bullets come from? See, you're getting hit by by stuff that you're not aware of, which means that it's it's information that you don't know. Okay, it's the Hulk bullet. Two blanks. Two blanks, and if things get hard, just jump off. Yeah, look at that. Oh my god, I'm so smart. Just jump off, later. I can't shoot while I'm there, but you get a couple seconds of invincibility. Okay, hold on. Maybe this isn't working the way that I think it's working. Or I think I might still be like... I still take damage from the bullets, which is fair. But... Does it matter? <laughs> this might seem like super cheap. But... Okay, that, that time it hurt me. Alright, maybe I don't know how Lord of, the, Lord of the Pit works. Or it might like honestly have like a safeguard in place to prevent people like me from doing what I'm doing. Okay, don't like that. Okay, this is an attack that you have no problem dodging. Because everyone's super proud of you. Good. Okay, he's down to Terminator mode. I've fallen off the, the train. Honestly, this time it was an accident. Dude, I really wish that we had like a blank for that. Because that's just, that's nasty. Is that a double vision? No, I fell, dude. I want whatever that is, but I don't want to risk the fact that we're going to die in order to get it, dude. Okay. We're shredding. Okay. Things are getting bad. Just kill him. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead and we've done it. We've ascended. We are making progress once again. Um. Oh, thank God. It's the rare candy. <laughs> I hate saying this because we now have like pretty much every item that gives us like amazing stats. But uh, we might be in a little bit of trouble. Buy you. Buy you. Buy you. Look at that. Big spender achievements well on the way. Our HP could be better. I'm not going to lie. Um. But, I mean, you could say that about everything in the world, really. Uh, give me a situation that could not be better. And, uh, honestly, you can't do it. Especially now, so good luck. Okay, no. Kill this thing before it has a, a chance to do that. Honestly, his attacks aren't bad. I just, like, hate him. You know? You ever have, like, an enemy in a video game where, like, they're not annoying, and you know they're not annoying, and you're totally okay with dealing with them, but, like, you still don't like them? I really want that HP. Like, you have no idea. I'm willing to get hit in order to, like, make sure I get that HP. I've always... I felt that... I feel that way about, like, a couple enemies in video game history. And I got, like, nothing against them either. I just... I just don't like them. Like, in Dark Souls... Well, I mean, Dark Souls is a bad example. Because I pretty much hate everything in that game. Like, there's not, like, a... Well, except, like, Pinwheel. But, like, who cares about Pinwheel? Pinwheel... Pinwheel, like, if you look up Simp in the dictionary, it'll just be a picture of Pinwheel. But that's it. Other than that, everything else in Dark Souls, absolutely hate it. Absolutely hate it. Now, I've been playing, like, a lot of Animal Crossing, so I could say this without, like, any weird, like, double entendre. But I absolutely hate the Tarantulas. 
And like if you like dude, I don't understand why they're so aggressive, man I'm just trying to like capture you and then enslave you forever and then put you in a museum so people could come and look at you And then you know you get fed and you get like get taken care of for the rest of your life It's honestly a pretty good deal. Now. He's gonna pop. I see the I see the The squat he's gonna pop we done Shop no not yet not yet. Okay, we are coming up towards the end but we're not there yet. You have done, like, everything in your power in order to make sure that you have a good run. The only thing that you still have to do is just play... Oh, I was going to say. All you have to do is play well, baby. If you can play well, then you're, then you're set. The game will do the rest. You got the magic suite. You have Gundramata Strain. You have Liquid Valkyrie. You have, like, pretty much every big name item that is unlocked at this current moment. There was no way for me to dodge that within the amount of time that I had available to me. You might be saying that's just a result of bad positioning, to which case I say, it's the alpha bullet! Okay. Dude, I'm, I'm happy. Uh, do I have more elevator or do you take me to shop? We have more elevator. Okay. More elevator is fine. Alpha bullet with single shot weapons, and I hate to say it because I, I do not like giving them any sort of like sympathy or praise, but this is like really... No, that's a blank. That's a blank. I hate saying it, but that's a blank. I, 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 we could have maybe gotten away with that, but like, I, I'm not going to risk it, man. Besides, the dragon fight is just like completely unfair anyway. So even if we do get there, it doesn't matter how many blanks we have unless we have like more than like fourth trillion. Fair, well, that's, that's an unrealistic number. At least, if you're going to exaggerate, at least exaggerate within the realm of realism. Otherwise, you're just making a straw man argument that's going to come back and haunt you in the, in the past. Yeah, but you know what? Look, that's fair. I, I, I honestly, I'll work more upon that when it comes to my commentary. Thank you for the feedback. Uh, you know, your feedback is important to us. Please take a gelato cookie on the way out. It's a gelato cookie. Did my brain want to say, like, an ice cream sandwich, but I said it in, like, the stupidest way possible? I think it did. I got hit by the night, dude! Take me out of here, please. Please? Oh, no, there is a boss! I was... What the... What are you? Killender. The 36th chamber. I get it. I hate it, but I get it. What do you do? You're just a move back and forth boss? Okay. Nope. <laughs> nope. I really just need to, like, remember, if you're in the air, you're fine. Yo, I don't know what this dude is, but, like, so far, out of all the bosses that I've seen, I'm not going to say I'm going to flawless him, but I will say, I lost track of my dude for a second there. He doesn't seem as bad. Why are you, like, if you, stop moving so much, you killing her? Oh, God, what is this? Yep, that's, that's, a, that's a fair movement, honestly. Okay. If you're gonna die, don't die here. Die in the dragon like a man. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Take the bomb. Deal damage. This is this is a this is a little bit much. Some bosses have hard like bullet patterns. This guy just doesn't stop moving. He hit me right when he died. I'm so upset about you, but you better give me something good. Armor, eye patch is actually really good. <laughs> Hello, I'm back. I know. It's it's crazy. Well, I mean like you can't take it with you, right? So you might as well stock up. Three armor, three HP, baby. What are our chances? Eh. I mean, chances they do exist. Dude, for some reason I thought that we were done, but we still have like an entire more uh, we have an entire other floor to do. Okay, that's honestly that's fine. Um, another floor means more items, more money, and dare I say, a chance of getting some uh, HP upgrades. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna blank that. I'm just gonna blank that. I look, I know that we have to be saving our blanks, but I, I, I do not care. I'm ascending out of this dungeon, and there's nothing you can do about it. Dude, sometimes you know you jump properly, you dodge, you're out of the way, but then you just land on like the platform above you, and it causes you to take damage through no fault of your own. That's that's what we got to work on now. Please kill the spider. Thank you. I think we're done this wave. Good. Ascend me. $97. I'd like to build up a little bit more to, to buy like one or two more HP on the final shot. Which should be coming up sooner rather than later. This is a great position for you. Keep the high ground, dude. Obi-Wan Kenobi, he was a smart man. He knew. What in God's name is this gun? Oh, it's a wind-up. 
It's not a wind-up gun, but I mean, like, it has, like, a charge time of, wait, a few seconds. God! Why? I'm getting a little bit tilted, but you know what? We're fighting the tilt. HP. 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 There's, like, nothing else in the game for you to give me. Okay, fat bullets is something that you could have given me. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, halfway through the fifth floor, we've lost two armor. We're still good. How fat are my bullets? Yo, they are pretty chonky, dude. I don't mean to, like, bullet shame anybody, but, I mean, these these chunks have some girth. Okay? I think that this entire floor, you just dodge roll instead of jump. He says jumping exclusively. Snowball is really good, too. Kill the bats before they have a chance to continue their metabolic processes. Good. Good. Dude, this, this like, this moving back and forth, it's a bit much. Oh, my God. See, dude, again. Don't jump here. You really just got a dodge roll. If you jump, you're going to screw yourself on the platforms. That's all it... Oh, there goes our blank. That's all it comes down to. Please. Please. Assume that they're not going to die by the time they get to you and just be smart about it for the first time in your life. Anybody who knows how to dodge the spiders on this moving platform honestly is like a gamer god. Well, wow, good. Yeah. Speaking of which, there's more spiders. <laughs> Let's go! Die! Okay, 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 okay. 2 HP. Dude, I'm still, like, this is still a positive in my book. We've made it this far, so, like, I'm happy. Oh, my God, it's a full, it's a full heart. I don't know if we could have afforded the Ring of Miserly Protection. I think if we could have, then absolutely it would have been smarter to buy that, but I kind of panicked, and now we're here. All right, we don't have to actually do anything, right? You're just going to blast us into space? I think now's a good time for me to have some of my caffeine because, my God, we're going to need it. All right. This is an unnecessary part of the game. It's called Exit the Gungeon. I don't know if you've realized this, but I'm out of the gungeon. Look at this. It's clear <laughs> blue sky. Those nice torrential purple ash clouds that are everywhere. I don't know what is what I assume to be debris and other horrible just chemicals falling down to the earth. I mean, who cares? This takes place on an alien planet. Do you care about like the horrible storm that's happening on Venus right now? Fairville, why didn't you say Uranus? Because I'm not 14! Alright, let's focus up. Let's do this. Come on. No blanks? Don't worry. Blanks are for people that don't know how to dodge. Oh no. Oh, he's done it! Okay, remember? You have rockets that are coming after you. My, like, my main complaint about this game is, like, what am I supposed to do damage? Like, right now? Good. 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 Good dodging, dude. Immediately ate it, but that's fine. Okay. Everything's falling apart. <laughs> There's, like, two moods in this game. He's done it. He's done it. Okay. Kill, kill the baby bullets. These ones, I, these patterns are like the easiest in the game. You just like walk towards them. Good. Get ready for the for the missiles. Great. The missiles also explode into more bullets. Like, are you actually out of your mind? It does, I, I want to like, like let's let's work out for scientary reasons. This man's one simple attack. He launches a massive bullet at you that shoots up into like heat-seeking missiles, and then those missiles also break up into more bullets upon impact. That's three levels of bullets from one attack. One attack, three levels of bullets. Now, you see why I'm getting a little bit on the... No, oh, they come up from underground, man! Stop it! Dude, we got him down to like half. If this like absolute monster has like a second form, I'm out of this game. Potion of lead skin. Great time. I have no idea if we've actually... <laughs> if we... If we dodge that successfully or if it's just like the potion of lead skin doing us a solid but either way i'm happy someone needs to tell me like right now if this dude has a second form because if he does nah dude he's, he's so close to being dead this attack is gonna kill me because they come up from the bottom okay the fact that we're not dead yet like not to not to like jinx it but like i'm very impressed Please. Maybe we can kill him. Nope. Oh my god. No! <laughs> we 
we were doing so well, dude. I think I understand the fight. We got him down to like an eighth of HP. Yo, if you like the episode, hit the like button. It really does help me out. Of course, if you want to see more of my content in the future, hit the subscribe button. Join the Fate Tribe. My name is Farewell. Thank you so much for watching. Dude, we're going to get him on the next time. I promise.